everyone, my name is Abby and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple journal with supplies you probably already have at home. This journal could be used as a sketchbook, scrapbook, photo album, comic book, notebook, or for drafting stories, writing, or any other creative idea you can come up with. All we're going to need today is some paper, scissors, tape, a cereal box, or some other form of thin cardboard, and some decorating supplies. The decorating supplies are to decorate the spine as well as the front and back covers of your journal. You could use paint, construction paper, a photo collage, scrapbook paper, stickers, duct tape, washi tape, markers, anything really. The decorating is optional, but I encourage you all to get creative and personalize your journal. Now that we have our supplies, let's get started. First, take one piece of paper and fold it in half. Then we're going to cut a hole in the middle of the fold we just made. I did mine about 4 or 5 inches long. And make sure that it's just a small piece of paper that you're cutting off. And this is what it will end up looking like, and then we set that aside for now. Next, fold another sheet of paper in half and cut 3 inch long slits at the bottom and top of the fold. So now we have something that looks like this. Roll this piece of paper up. and slide it through the hole we cut in the middle of our first piece of paper. Continue making more sheets of paper with slits at the bottom and top of your fold, rolling them up, and sticking them through the hole in the first sheet of paper. I added 9 more sheets of paper so my journal will have 20 pages, but you can add however many sheets of paper you want. When you've added all your sheets, close your journal and crease the spine. Now we are going to reinforce the spine by taping it. After fighting with the tape dispenser, I used a couple long strips of clear scotch tape for this and trimmed off any excess. Next I'm going to take my cereal box and cut it to fit the size of my journal. I did this by tracing my journal on a flat area of the box twice and cutting both pieces out. Next, we are going to glue these cardboard pieces onto the first and last pages of our journal using Elmer's glue. Make sure to glue all the way to the edges of the paper. Here, I just use a thin layer so that the glue will dry quickly. Place some heavy objects on top of your journal and leave it to dry for a little bit while you plan your cover design and find your decorating supplies. Alright, when our glue has dried, we can finally decorate. First, let's decorate the spine of our journal. To do this, I glued on a piece of construction paper with a glue stick. However, if you want to skip the gluing, you could also use some fun duct tape or patterned washing tape. I also at this point realized that my paper was too short for my book spine, and so I improvised. And don't worry, that little chunk of paper that's missing there will get covered by the back cover of our book. Then I added some construction paper I had lying around to hide the cardboard by tracing the shape of my journal onto the construction paper, cutting it out, and then gluing it on top of both sides of my covers. And don't worry about this excess part of the paper sticking out, we will just fold that over and glue it down on the inside of our cover. And then I trimmed off the excess at the bottom of my covers. And now it's time to really get creative and personalize our journals. I decided mine was looking a little plain, so I wanted to add my favorite emoji, the angel emoji, to the front cover. To personalize yours, you could add your favorite emoji, draw a design on the front, or write your name on the front. You could add stickers, make a photo collage, use some fun pattern duct tape, or even use some washi tape like I am here. And then I went and did the rest of the washi tape off camera. Once you're satisfied with your front and back covers, you're all done. And remember, there are lots of ways to use your new journal. Here are some ideas to get you started. For all of my artists out there, you could use this as a sketchbook or as a doodle journal, which is when you draw a picture to represent each day, week, or month in your life. For all my writers, you could use this as a place to write the story you've always wanted to get down on paper or to journal about your life and everything going on right now, or even express your thoughts using poetry. 
For those lucky enough to love both writing and drawing, try your hand at making a few comics. Click the link in this video's description for a video to get you started on designing your characters. For my photography lovers, you can use this as a photo album or a place to scrapbook. And that's all that I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this fun little project. Make sure to check out the Medical Lake School District channel for more videos like this one. See you next time!